Hey guys, welcome back. So today's gonna be an everyday tutorial, like an everyday for summer, at least for me. Um, now, if you guys are wondering why my eyes are water, I don't think you can't even see it. Um, but it's because I just put my contacts in. I won't always wear my contacts, um, but today I am. Okay, so first thing I always go ahead and just put my hair back with the hairband, but one time hair off with the hair tie and just put it into a ponytail. I mean, it happens to be perfect. I like mine's never perfect and then I just kind of turn it into a bun um but okay so clean face go ahead and moisturize with just um this Aveeno ultra calming daily moisturizer with SPF 30 and it's fragrance free and it's oil free I believe it doesn't say it's oil free so but I use it um I dry my skin's pretty dry so I take about Mm, that much and then I start dotting it around my cheeks where I get some burned off and right here and I try to put some around my mouth area because that's usually darker than any other thing so I want it to get even darker so then I just kind of spread this out No, like if there's anything left on my fingers I'll bring it up to my forehead <laughs> okay so now I have a really nice fresh clean moisturized skin um okay so next what I'm going to go ahead and do is apply tinted moisturizer which is the elf tinted moisturizer with SPF 20 <laughs> And so I'm packing on SPF SPF. That's really good for my skin. And this is in the color porcelain. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, but uh, it's a little bit too dark for me. Like a little bit. But pretty much I can handle it. So I start off using the smallest amount. So I'll just dot it across my face. And then just because I really don't want, I don't, really don't need that much coverage. Basically, where I need it is just around my cheek area because I have a lot of redness, as you guys can see. Probably trying to see. Okay, so then if I need a little bit more, go ahead and apply a little bit more on the back of my hand and start dotting. And so then I blend this out with my fingers. And this has pretty good coverage for your tinted moisturizer. And I try to go under my eyes with whatever's left over um, so that I don't have to use concealer because I don't have like really bad dark circles where I have to pack on concealer. So. Okay. So there you go. And I have just something to give you a little bit of coverage. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and set my powder, set my powder, yeah, set my uh, tinted moisturizer with, this is my favorite one right now, which is a Dream Maybelline New York Dream Matte Powder, okay, epic failure, <laughs> but it looks like that, and I know it does not look like my skin tone color, but it blends out really nicely, and it comes with its own little mirror, like it flips, okay. So I like to take this with a very large fluffy brush and just lightly go onto my face. I don't like to apply too much. Did you guys see that? It went into my mouth. Okay. Next is I like this is my favorite cream blush, I believe. I, I wanna call it my favorite, but then I don't want to call it my favorite. This is the Revel on Cream Blush in Very Flirtatious. <clears throat> and the reason why I don't I like the color and everything like the color is amazing but it has this really weird smell to it I don't know it just smells really weird to me um right now I'm gonna put on some chapstick so to off topic but you know, the mirror was looking at my lips and they are so dry and this is the EOS lip balm in summer fruit I like the one in um sweet mint better but I haven't gotten a chance to go buy and repurchase that one but anyways, this is a super matte, um, 
and blush and it does down for quite a good time I have to say and it comes with this mirror you just kind of press that button right there you just can see it right there and press it and it pops out and I like to use stippling brushes for cream blushes I don't know why but I do so just take a little bit just kind of give me a nice glow Just so that it looks, gives me a nice, you know, just some warmth to my face. And blend it all with my fingers. So, after that, um, I'm basically finished with my face. I just, I'm going to apply some bronzer. And I'm going to be taking the MAC bronzer or blush and blunt, but it's a really dark, 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 dark blush. So, I'm going to be using it as a bronzer. And I take my e.l.f. complexion brush. And I just really lightly contour. If you guys want to know how to get just a super, like, not a heavy line from this, because it's so dark and it's so pigmented, what I do is I take my brush and I do it once and you get so much product. You can't see how much product I have. So what I do is I just kind of dab it on the back of my hand and whatever's left over goes on and you still have a lot. So... And then whatever's left over all over my face for some color okay so after that i'm finished with my f face and now to my eyes so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is prime your eyelids and i'm using the elf eyelid primer and for summer i don't like to wear too much makeup as you guys can see on my face i'm not wearing too much now i will not contour and put blush on every single day you guys um I am too lazy to do that. Um, you know, and sometimes I'm just like, oh. And a lot of times during the summer, I will um, go out and swim so I won't wear makeup besides waterproof mascara. So, there you go. Okay, so now that I have put that all over, I'm going to go ahead and just take the um, Beach Cosmetics 28 Nude Palette. This is my favorite palette. Um, and I got this in, back in February. So, I've had it for a while and I've used a lot of the colors there's so many beautiful colors but I'm going to be taking a flat brush and just taking a color that's going to give me just a wash of color on my eyelid just taking this one it has some nice shimmer to it it's really pretty there you go it's kind of like a champagne color I don't know but I'm going to be playing this all over my lid just kind of make my eye look a little bit bigger or awake I should say I'm just applying this all over my lid I'm trying to see if you guys can see it okay so take some more and apply it make sure both eyes look even okay so after that I'm I'm almost basically finished with the eyes. Sometimes I will add a slight crease color and sometimes I won't. But um, today for tutorial wise, I'm going to go ahead and just take a like, thin fluffy brush. And this is Max. Wait, Mac. Mary Kay. It's because I have the Mac one that looks like this. But um, it's just kind of a simple brush which is fluffy. I'm just going to be taking a really light brown. Actually the color right next to it. And it comes off a lot paler on camera, but it's actually kind of a light brown color. Just kind of contour the lid a little bit. Ever so slightly. Okay. So after that, we're basically finished, and it just kind of gave some pop to the eye. <sighs> Sorry. And then I'm just going to be taking an eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner. Um, and I'm going to be taking the NYC High Definition Pin Liner. This looks like this, and it's pretty black. Um, I don't like the staying power. I mean, it's pretty good liner, but it doesn't stay on all day. I mean it doesn't it kind of fades but it doesn't like if you were to go like this a little bit it would kind of go away. So I'm just gonna draw a pretty thin line. 
with liquid liner um it's really hard to get like the same look on both eyes because it is a little bit different so when I do with the second eye I look back and see oh is, do they look the same so Sorry, I'm just trying to see. As you guys can see, this one is not coming out. So, I just have to kind of fix the other one to kind of look like it. So, just making a thicker line. There you go. Just kind of make it look even, even though it looks like a really thick line. Okay, so... Once you have your thick liner on, um, go ahead and curl your eyelashes and put on some waterproof mascara. Okay. Hold on. It's in here somewhere. It's because I went and did my neighbor's makeup yesterday, so that's why it's in here. And the mascara I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara, and it's not waterproof, but, um, you guys can take, because I'm not going to the pool or anything today, but if you guys are going to the pool or some type of water related activity, go ahead and just put on mascara. I have pretty long lashes, natural long lashes, um, so I don't have to wear that much mascara. I could get away with one coat. Um, but I just feel like, or you could just wear liner and the mascaras, mascaras, mascara wouldn't be so important, but, um, I'm gonna just apply a little bit of mascara, just kind of make my lashes look bold. Okay, how much time do we have? Because I don't have that much time, guys. Okay guys, so I have this, I found out this new YouTuber, she made a new account, or she, I don't think she had an account before, but she made an account here on YouTube and she's uploading these really good videos, so her name's Lore DIY, and she does a lot of DIY videos, and they're all really amazing, um, and she's so pretty, um, I will link her, her, what's her name? her channel down below and if you guys do tell her that i sent you um or I mean, you can if you want to you don't have to but um it would mean a lot she does really amazing videos so i'm just applying some to my lower lashes okay so there you go my lashes can you guys see that i don't know if you guys can see that Okay, so I would apply more, but I don't have time to apply more. Okay, so after that, I look nice and spiffy. Spiffy. Did I just say spiffy? Well, after you look spiffy, go ahead and just take any kind of bold lipstick, and it would just kind of bring the whole look together. My eye just got kind of itchy. Mm. So I'm going to see if my lip sting works or not. Okay, it works. Okay, so I used the, um, what is it, Maybelline? What is this? Yeah, Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Stain. And hold on, I'll tell you the color in a second. And it just kind of makes you look awake, you know? And it's not, like, a red color. It just looks kind of like a nice natural red. I don't know if you guys can tell. On camera, it looks really harsh. But I would never repurchase this because it dries out super quickly. But this is in the color Feeling Rosy. And it is kind of like a rosy red. It's a really pretty color and I really, really do like it. 
um so that was it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i did and i do hope to see you guys next time please remember to rate comment and subscribe and make sure to take to check out Laura DIY's videos um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time